What is the meaning of life? Tio begins with the answer. What is my destiny? Your destiny. Have you wondered? What is it? What's it all about? What is my destiny? We are living in a really confused world. People do not know the meaning of sex. What is sex? Living in a superficial society. What is true love? Theology of the body gives answer to these questions. I guess what I took uh, away from theology of the body is um, how to explain why uh, certain things are wrong. So we've always been told that uh, premarital, premarital sex and all of these things are wrong, but we never sort of understood why. Uh, and I think it's really good for us to understand so we can explain to the people that we know as well. I wanted to, like, one message I just wanted to deliver was, okay, when I first came, I had no intention of listening or anything. Like, I really didn't want to be there in the beginning. And, like, especially, like, like that's honestly. <laughs> but then, but then, there, okay, like, we talked about, like, the Holy Spirit, like, faith and grace. And these three things, like, I, in my head, I already had, like, an idea. I was like, okay, I already know about these things. I, like, I've been taking catechism. I know everything right now. I don't really need a reminder. But then, like, that's where I think I went all wrong. <laughs> because, the, like, you, like, the biggest mistake we all do, like, for personally, like me too, is that we come here thinking we know everything. But all we know is one side, and that side is usually like the rest of the secular world around us. Like all the messages and stuff that we get from our friends, from our teachers, from our social media and everything, it's like, like that's the truth that we see, right? So I came with that knowledge, I sat down, and I, like, I thought I knew already like some basic principles and everything, but then a lot of things that um, uh, Brother Babu was explaining, it really touched me, and I know we're going to get through a lot of that, but I think like for that to touch you, you need to, like, when you're sitting here, you need to, like, don't harden your hearts. Like, don't come here and be like, okay, I'm going to be here for two days, and then I'm leaving. Like, this is not a big deal. I do this every once a month or something, right? Like, it's not a regular retreat. Like, if you want to see a change, even if you don't want to, just like just sitting here and opening even like a, the smallest crack like I remember we were talking like the Holy Spirit only needs like a sliver like of a crack for him to come into our lives and honestly a lot of people are just afraid to let the Holy Spirit come in because we think it's going to make our life a lot harder we're going to have to give up everything that we enjoy in our regular lives but it's not true it just makes us realize the truth and I think today I'm really excited for <laughs> the next two days because I feel like there's a lot of truth that's going to be told, but we're only going to be able to listen to that truth if we really open our hearts. So before he starts, I want everyone to just, even if you don't want to be here, just let there be a little crack because in a couple days, in a couple years, I don't know, maybe when you're like 70 years old, you're going to have a re like re revelation and you're going to realize that there was some truth that was being said today. and. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> so what I learned from the Theology of the Body program is I got to learn about how, what God had in mind when he created us and his plan for us and he created us in his image, in his image and likeness and why he created us male and female. And a big takeaway from this talk would be, like I now had to have this new lens of examining my relationship, like my body and like how I, my relationship with others and with God himself with this new TOV lens. Thank you. Because um, the Holy Spirit is a person that lives permanently in us, regardless of our situation, regardless of our state of mind, be it when we are in sin or out of sin, He's still there. So for the fact that He's still there in us, we always need to communicate with the Holy Spirit. And secondly, I used to know about the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, but I never understood what it was. But this seminar of the theology of the body has made me to understand that the sin against the Holy Spirit is actually rejecting the Holy Spirit in totality. Thank you very much. We talked about the same line where um, confessing brings humility. So if, if I do something sin or is it wrong, I just say like I'm sorry kind of thing. That that doesn't. It's not intentional. We can talk. We can um, say forgiveness or say sorry in mind, but it takes a long time and um, 
a lot of energy, not energy, like will to put your thought into words, especially if it's uh, something about uh, admitting that you're wrong and then admitting that you're wrong to another human being who's also flawed but also has the power to give and stand on um, behalf of Jesus to give that grace to absolve your sins. So we're talking about that and also confession. If you're saying sorry to, like you said, your friend or Jesus, it ends there. Confession has that counseling and penance to do, to what, to right your wrong in God, in the kingdom of God. So that's also it's really powerful. Um, I'm really glad to be here um, for the theology of the body. Um, something that I that really struck me was the Holy Spirit and the talk on the Holy Spirit. But also, uh, I guess like now I have a checklist to help me discern about sort of like what like why premarital sex is wrong and um, like how to lead a chaste life and the four qualities of love and how to exemplify God through that love we share with other people, with our friends, our parents, with um, our spouse. And I also like the uh, uh, topic of the spousal love, right? It's not just seen through the conjugal action. It's, it's just the act of self-giving, which is um, very important to me also mentioned some of the points that were said. So um, the priest acting in the person of Christ um, in the confessional. So like Jesus said to his apostles, uh, forgive the sins of others and their sins will be forgiven. So the priest has the power given from Christ to actually absolve our sins. We also mentioned the aspect of humility, having to say it out loud um, to another person is means coming face to face with your sins and not just brushing them away as you'd like. Um, if it was just like a personal saying sorry to God, when you're actually for to say to um, another person, um, we have to like accept our flaws and our sinfulness and recognize that aspect of our humanity. Um, we also talked about um, when we sin, we're not just sinning like against God, but we're also um, we're also affecting the people around us, and we're also affecting like our like humans on Earth, right? That's the effect of our sins. So when we confess to a priest, we're also um, incorporating that aspect of like getting that, not forgiveness from a person, but like um, fixing that bond with another person and not just like with God, because when we sit, it affects not just God, but also the people around us. Yeah. Uh, the thing that I learned is like, I, how he said yesterday that uh, God is always there outside your life to come in. It's us who actually open the door and let him in. And not just that, I really understood the meaning of life, soul, and everything, even after death. Thank you. Only uh, we're not confessing to the priest, first of all, so if you think that we're confessing to Father Sebastian or Father Thomas or something, that's a mistake, first of all. We're confessing to Jesus himself. And um, uh, another thing is, this is the only religion or Catholicism is the only place where we're assured that our sins are forgiven. In no other place where you can be assured that your sins are forgiven. In Catholicism, in our confession, you say, uh, you say your sins, and the priest blesses you and says your sins are absolved and you can go in peace. That's an assurance, 100% guaranteed your sins are forgiven and you go to heaven. No other religion gives you this guarantee. And what else? Um, Jesus himself told the apostles, whatever you set loose on earth will be set loose, and whatever you set uh, loose on heaven will be. That, that, promise, that promise there, that promise is a promise from Jesus himself, and I don't think um, we need any other explanation of why we should go to peace or confession. Um, before coming here, I used to think that the opposite of love was hate, and after coming, like I realized the opposite was use, and that really got me interested. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, for me, like, unfortunately, I felt that like a day, uh, like a day isn't really enough to to actually like uh, focus on on exactly what a TOB is. But like in my opinion, uh, what I feel that uh, these these past couple of honestly not even days, but like the past couple of uh, the past couple of um, hours, uh, mainly, uh, they basically just just forced me. Uh, uh, sorry, but not forced me, but but they basically just just um, like increase the uh, desire to actually learn more about uh, the uh, theology, uh, theology of our body. So, um, like, uh, no, usually a uh, like part of our culture uh, is that um, we're, just, we're just forced to to blindly believe like all these uh, like all these concepts, but. Um, what uh, what uh, Bob, uh, Babu Chetan, um, like what he did uh, through all these sessions, which is uh, forced you to ask the question, why? Why do we believe this? So I feel like that uh, was was the main uh, main thing that I uh, that I got out of um, the the past day. Yeah. For life, I learned 
more about the Holy Spirit, um, and I learned that He is a person, not just the third person of the Trinity that was all it. it I didn't, I knew it was important, but I don't know how extent it was. I hear about Him a lot, but never used to pray to Him specifically. So now I know it's a person, it's much easier to visualize. So thank you for that. For attending the lectures devoted to the theology of body, because of the opportunity of understanding the meaning of life, the role of the sexes, the existence of the woman and man, and also the true meaning of the love. Thank you for this opportunity. So before when I came here, um, my parents always told me that dating was bad, it's wrong to date other people, but because we are choosing the, our right, the right partner to, uh, for them to live in our lives. And I also learned that the opposite of love is use. I'm very glad that we were able to have um, these discussions about the theology of the body, especially I know within our community we feel like it's something that we can't always discuss openly or something that we shouldn't be talking about. But I think that the discussions we had were important and even for us to move on from here and like others said, learn more. Um, yeah, I think understanding that this is not taboo or bad, like it's how God made us and it's very good and beautiful. Um, so I think that was really good that we established that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I feel like uh, really blessed to be here. Um, I think we're also blessed to have someone like Bob Wanko, you know, come all the way from USA just to teach about such a sensitive and such a delicate topic, right? The theology of the body. Um, you know, I, just, I, I really came here for healing, um, just healing of having that lack of understanding of the theology of the body, right? Um, I think, you know, as we age, you know, we, we, there's always so much doubt um, that we always have. Um, so just having that understanding and, um, you know, like, um, what I can really take back from this is just having a, a deeper understanding of my sexuality, what it means to be a male and what it be, means to be a female, and um, just uh, knowing what, you know, know how, know how to love right? uh, sincerely and, um, and yeah. So what I learned from TOV was that in order for us to gain the respect that we need, um, we gotta respect our body and um, know that we're a temple of God and then God lives in us in order to gain that respect back from whoever we're with in the future. So that really stood out to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually grateful to be here and attending this today program. Uh, the two things that I got out of it was first was the Holy Spirit, how I knew he was just a person, but how he's always there in us and how we just have to like understand that he's always there with us and he can help us. And also how beautiful our body is and how we need to like glorify, glorify God through our body. Thank you. So I think it's important that we come to TOB just so we can discuss like what everyone else mentioned about like taboo topics such as our sexuality and premarital sex. Yep. <laughs> what I learned was um, uh, basically like we've been taught about like the different ex ways we can express our love uh, to our loved ones but I guess what I picked up from this is like the intent we in which we try to express has to be you know uh, has to be with like purity and like um, an intent to like uh, love God you know in like more um, honest and like fruitful way uh, it's essentially it from the TOV I learned the importance of relationships uh, uh, so what I learned from the theology of the body is uh, how uh, with like about how what like love really is and how with uh, marriage you always have to include incorporate like God in your marriage and another thing that really struck me is that how um, a lot of people in their life like strive to uh, get married and that's like their only goal but then how you said the marriage is just a stepping stone for like um, for your like uh, relationship with God and uh, it's just like marriage is just that one step you have to take to get closer to God and um, So I think from, uh, from this event, uh, from TOB, um, I've just been inspired to learn more and uh, I guess read up on all these things on my own, just understand um, everything that the church has to say about the theology of the body. Yeah. Uh, so what I learned from TOB was mostly about the Holy Spirit. Um, I never really thought of it as a person and someone to pray to, so I feel much better about myself and I actually do feel more of the Spirit in me after um, attending this seminar. Hey guys. Um, 
What I learned today, which was interesting, uh, was the whole idea of premarital sex and the reasoning as to why it is wrong for us to do it before marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, the reason I came to TOB in the first place was to learn why premarital sex was wrong, and I'm really glad that I came because we got to learn the answer and how our love for each other should always be pure and chaste and include God in all as in all aspects. Thank you. TOB answered many of my questions. TOB for life. Transforming, Transforming lives! lives.